Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris, and today we're doing a mod spotlight on persistent rotation. This is a mod made by Marcus A380. I promised I'd do this mod review spotlight thing about 10 months ago, but well, here it is at least. We're finally doing it. And uh, this mod in itself is simple, and that's what I like about it, but it can be very, very useful. By default, within KSB stock, many of you may know, but when a something is rotating, like a ship, something in space, and then you time warp, automatically the game will just prevent you, pre prevent your ship specifically from rotating anymore. But with this mod, you can continue to rotate, as you see. And so that is very useful for whatever it may be. You know, maybe you have like an asteroid that's rotating and you want it to continue rotating then this mod is absolutely for you. Or if you have a space station that, you know, you want it to rotate for centrifugal force or whatever, then by all means, please do that. Use this mod, I recommend it. Keeping in mind it's getting updated frequently too, so, you know, it's very useful. Now, I'm gonna prevent it from rotating. Now, the, the toolbar for configuring this mod when you first install it is actually in the top left-hand corner here. Now, you've got two settings. I'll probably start with this, this symbol here. You'll see here GUI visible mode. This will enable you to have like a toolbar over here. So if I click stock toolbar, you'll see the, the toolbar here so you can turn, you can actually turn the visibility for the mod on and off. So that's simple. And then you got default reference body. Automatically that's on none, but you can click the mod dynamic. Uh, that's relatively uh, simple, but it's, you know, it's not really something you have to bother about initially. Only when you start configuring other things will you have to worry about that. Anyway. Rotation. Now this, I think these are automatically set off, or maybe rotation is on, I can't remember. But what I'll tell you is that rotation is useful for having a positioning that you want to keep to. So if I if I just go to into this view, and let's just say I want the Kerbals to always have a nice view of the sun. Right, there's, there's our Kerbal right there. Valentina! Is that Valentina? I don't care. Anyway. If you want the Kerbals to always be looking into a certain direction, or your ship to be facing a certain direction all the time, then this is perfect for you. So what you do is you normally just select where you want to look at, and you can also go to the menu. Right, just zoom out, you can select like different celestial bodies, whatever you want with this, this here. But what I want to do, I'm just going to click Sun, which is already set, and click Activate. And what happens, when it activates, you notice that this is now green, which means it's activated, and if I, if I go to C mode, if I take a look here, in our time warp, you'll notice that we're always looking and facing at the sun. Right? Even though we're, we're orbiting Eve, we're always facing the direction of the sun. Even though we're behind Eve now, we're always looking at it. It's amazing. You'll see we'll be right in our face pretty soon. Let's see. We're almost there. Here we go. Hey, it's in our face. You know, so it's this is very useful. It's something that you don't exactly have in default ksp which is like wow what a big mouth what the what is that <laughs> that's, that's a bit broken i think all right look at those eyelashes too i didn't didn't know that but she's going a bit nuts it's okay don't worry we'll, we'll smash this ship later on it's going to crash anyway the next part of the mod and this you know this mod is relatively small as i said before but it's simple and it's, it's very useful the next part is momentum and this is nice this is actually quite good what you can do with this is that you can configure a set speed for your ship or asteroid or space station, whatever you want to rotate at. So if I want it to rotate at 9, then as long if I have SAS and RCS on, I click activate, you'll notice it's starting to spin. And it will continue to spin at that momentum, at that rotations per second, per minute, sorry. I'll just say per second. That'd be incredibly fast. But yeah, rotations per minute is about 9 for this. Click 1, deactivate, then activate then it will rotate at that speed. The reason why you have to deactivate then activate is because once you change, it doesn't automatically like set it as that number. You gotta deactivate it, and then activate, and then it will start with that. So that is nice and easy. You know, already we've only shown a couple of features and yeah, these features can help you with many things. I think, I think I have a, a station around here, or is it, that's the thing from, um, that interstellar movie, the Endurance. This is a good example of something that you might want to have rotated or rotating. So if we go to Momentum and then I just select two, 
But then activate, now it's going to start rotating. Right? And once it reaches that speed, it will just keep at that speed. Another thing is that, as you can see, it's going counterclockwise at the moment. You can maybe make it go clockwise. So if I want, you could go negative 2, deactivate, then activate. You will notice now it's trying to reposition itself. So there you go. Now, um, I do recommend be careful occasionally. You may find a cracking, the Kraken, good old Kraken paying you a visit. That's that's a bad thing. If you do have like a big space station or asteroid base, whatever, just make sure you click escape and just, just save your game every now and then. I recommend it. Although automatically the, the game does save your game, your game state. I, it's probably best to just you do the saving as well, just in case. I think I'm seeing Kerbin, that right there. I think it's Kerbin. I see a hint of blue. It must be Kerbin. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so, let's see. We're going to go here. There's another feature for this mod, and I haven't actually taken a look at it myself. It says... It says automatically... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay. Slight spin for every asteroid per default. So, every asteroid by default, they're spinning. Hmm select let's just go let's apply there we go okay there we go okay that was nice that was easy what was the trouble before as you can see by default asteroids are indeed rotating this is where's the d-class no that's a bit small it seems like a c-class no idea whatever um this this spaceship here is kind of big so it's okay this this is probably c-class it's not d probably ah oh, who knows <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to say it's a C-class. Anyway, uh, it's rotating, meaning all other asteroids are also rotating at a certain speed. It's not a bad speed. It's, it's definitely a bit dangerous if you're going to dock to it, but I like it. It needs to be a bit dangerous. Somewhat realistic, at least. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, mostly. There's like a feature list I'm looking at here. It says persistence of momentum through time often restarts. We checked that. That's good. Momentum autopilot, keep your vessel at fixed RPM. We check that. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Reference rotation and relative time warp. 100% persistent. Yes, yes. Asteroid spinning. Yep. Simple intuitive GUI. Yes. Okay, it is indeed. Let's set this thing as target. Let me do that. There we go. We're going to say hi. Let's see. Engines. I have not tested this thing, this ship, in ages. We made it like a long time ago, so... We're gonna gonna say hi in a second. All right, let's see. Things are good. Uh, let's just throw it all up first. Engines on. Oh, this is okay. We have uh, <laughs> these nuclear engines are incredibly slow. Well, this is gonna be. Whoa! It's a bigger explosion than I thought. And the asteroid is gone. How magical! <laughs> Dude, these asteroids have like no endurance. It's like, <laughs> that's funny. You just like bump into him and it's like, bang, gone. Come on, man. Like toughen up the, the tolerance for these, these asteroids. Like, that's pitiful. Well, that's it for this video. I'd like to thank Marcus for the great mod, Persistent Rotation. I will actually link everything in the description for you guys to download the mod. And you can also uh, give like a tip to support Marcus in the development of this mod for the future. And that really is it. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.